Once again, a few acres of farmland outside Liverpool become the focal centre of the sporting world, the magnet that draws hundreds of thousands from every corner of the globe. This year, the result is more open than ever, and the flags of Britain, France and America above the stands show that the field is international. And once again, Pathé Gazette brings you the complete story so that you in this theatre see more than any spectator on the course. Early rain and now brilliant sun make the going of the day almost perfect. Yes, almost perfect. And the question is, what's going to win? And at this moment, you can hear hundreds of thousands asking it. This year, it's a field of 36. 36 tough, hard-bred steeplechasers. Not as shapely or as beautiful as the stars of the flat. But when there's four and a half of the world's toughest miles ahead, they don't carry an ounce more flesh than they need. Pride of place in the parade goes to last year's winner, Royal Mail. From Ireland comes Ergut Sios and Royal Daniele. From France, Takvar Pasha. And from the U.S., what have you, and the son of America's greatest thoroughbred man of war, appropriately named Battleship. And among the others, there's Kuleen, who nearly won last year, and the favourite Blue Shirt. And now the starter is at the post, and the racing world holds its breath. Start, what have you is badly left, and leading the bunch to the first fence are Drim, Red Knight, and Underbeard. Over the first fence, it's Drim, Red Knight, and Air God Sios, Invisible Falls. At the second fence, the two Irish horses are leading, Agit Sios and Royal Daniele, with Drim almost level. The third fence, and Ergit Sios takes the lead with Royal Daniele, Drim and Underbid, and Fontet has fallen. Over the fourth and fifth fences and up to Beaches, it's still Ergot Sios, and here it's the shape of things to come. Battleship comes up almost alongside the leader, then Royal Daniele and Drim, and Brighter Cottage falls. Round the far bend and towards the canal turn, they're all bunched up with Battleship, Ergit Sios, and Royal Daniele. Then goes somebody else's shirt. Round the canal turn in the same order. Now the slow motion camera takes over to show you the beauty and thrills of the horses leaping and gliding through the air as they clear the steep obstacle of Valentine's Brook, a broad thorn fence five feet high and three feet three inches thick with a brook five feet six inches wide, one of the toughest jumps of the whole course. And now comes the tenth fence. In a moment, you'll see Agit Sios over first and then fall. Tragedy for the Irish horse. In the up that follows, Red Knight takes the lead. The 11th fence, Red Knight is about a length ahead of Royal Daniele. At the 12th fence, it's still Royal Daniele and Red Knight with Dunhill Castle third and Rockwiller fourth. Round the turn to the 13th, still Royal Daniele, fighting it out with Red Knight. Last fence before they reach the stand for the second time round, and coming up behind the leaders are Luff Cottage, Dunhill Castle, Royal Mail and Workman. The chair fence in front of the stands and Della Chance is coming up. Battleship almost falls. If he had, what a different story. But the water jump, Della Chance is up with the leaders and Rock Lad falls. And now round the bend and into the open country for the second time. Round the bend of the 17th fence, it's Luff Cottage in front with Dunhill Castle, Royal Mail and Provocative. The 18th fence, and in the leading bunch are Dunhill Castle, Rock Quilla and Royal Daniele. The 19th fence in the same order. At the 20th, Battleship is coming up again, and at Beecher's the second time, Battleship is in front, with Royal Daniele, Della Chance, Luff Cottage and Workman, and Rock Miller is down, and so is Dunhill Castle. And here comes Beecher's in slow motion. There's Rock Miller down, with Dunhill Castle almost on top of him.
For the second time, they go round the far bend towards the canal turn. And fighting it out in front are Royal Daniele, Battleship and Della Charles. And now it's the start of the final terrific struggle between Battleship and Royal Daniele. Over the canal turn, Battleship and Royal Daniele. This is where Royal Mail is pulled up with a broken blood vessel. Over Valentine's, Royal Daniele, Battleship and Drim. And on to the tremendous final dash. At first there are four horses, Royal Daniele, Battleship, Workman and Drim. Drim drops back and soon Royal Daniele and Workman are neck and neck. Workman's jockey has lost his cap, while behind, just out of the picture, Battleship is coming up. And now comes the most terrific finish that Aintree has seen for years. Workman suddenly tires. Battleship on the near side comes up to challenge Royal Daniele. Between them is Takwa Pasha, riderless. Down the course in front of the stands, there's nothing in it. But Battleship on this side wins by a head, with Royal Daniele second and Workman third. The Grand National of 1938 will go down to history as the race that was won by a lad of 17, and the first time that victory has come to an American bred horse. Battleship's owner, Mrs. Scott, is so excited, she hasn't the nerve left to lead in the winner. The same three cheers the boy whose brilliant riding has won the toughest race in the world.